This is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're on location at the University of Maryland Biopark here in lovely Baltimore. I have Bill Enright of Vaccine Inc., a private company. Bill, welcome to SNN Live. Shelley, thank you very much. I appreciate being here. It's great to have you. I want to get right into the story. Tell us about Vaccine. So Vaxin is a clinical stage development company. Uh, we're developing intranasally administered vaccines, and we're focused right now on uh, flu and anthrax. Okay. I know a little bit about this topic. Because the nasal administration of drugs and the entry of your molecules through the nasal mucosa are something that the world needs. Tell me. Fill me in. More information. So uh, we've been around for, since 1997 and actually started as a patch-based delivery company, but uh, um, we found out that uh, intranasal route is actually more effective, at least in the flu study that we did. And so we're focused on that route of administration right now. We've done a couple of phase one clinical trials uh, with both a seasonal influenza vaccine as well as the pre-pandemic, the H5N1, uh, or more commonly known as the bird flu vaccine, and had uh, very good results with those. And uh, more, more recently, uh, we've received a $22 million BARDA contract uh, to move our anthrax vaccine forward into clinical trials. So the answer is that why did you go down that route? Does it, is it the fact that it works faster? Is it the fact that, you know, you can't do it as quickly through transdermal? You don't want to use needles? I mean, you know, give me the rundown because I, I need to know efficaciously yeah. why you chose uh, the nasal mucosa? Well, it's interesting. I think the, the um, intranasal route of administration is actually proving more effective. Uh, I think uh, Metamune demonstrated that with their flu mist intranasally administered flu vaccine, and, and we hope to actually have uh, a vaccine that we can reach uh, infants and the elderly where, where Metamune's license is, is limited. So uh, it, it's um, more efficacious and it's also easier to administer so people don't like getting shots for the most part uh, especially kids and so uh, you can get a, a much faster time to uh, protection uh, in fact uh, recently we've uh, we've published on some data that we, we're getting protection as quickly as 24 hours after vaccine administration and so uh, that's unique from a vaccine perspective Unique. I, I mean, this is uh, this is groundbreaking. Uh, I, I like this technology. I always have. I've. There's been other companies in the world of tra of uh, of uh, nasal mucosal administration, intranasal uh, administration. How long do you think it's going to take for your product to be out on the market? And how much of a market do you think it's going to have? So uh, right now, as I said, we've completed phase one clinical trials for the flu vaccine, and we're hoping to get into phase two next year. Uh, so we should be uh, able to commercialize somewhere around uh, uh, 2017, 2016 in that time frame to get through the phase two and phase three clinical trials. The flu market is huge. It's a $4 billion market. And so uh, even a small piece of that uh, is, is nice for a small biotech like Vaxin. You know, what are you going to be generally looking at the side effects of of the administration through the nose? I mean, where where could a problem come from? I, I mean, I, I just think that there's so many unique advantages to this delivery system uh, that I think once you have that down with the right uh, uh, prescription drug, you're a home run. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty interesting because we're actually a recombinant vaccine. So we, we don't take the whole flu virus. We're just taking a piece of the flu virus, and we're inserting it into a, a virus backbone called adenovirus. And, and that's a naturally occurring virus. So you get it in, via the respiratory route just like you get the flu. So you're stimulating the same kind of immune response that the body is normally used to generating against flu, which is one of the reasons that I think it's really efficacious. Well, let me also say, you know, the flu resides here. Yeah. So exactly. why would a shot here be exactly better right. for you than a, than an administration of medicine here? Correct. Correct. And the other advantage here is because it's recombinant. So we're making the flu in, instead of making it in chicken eggs, where the norm, the vaccines now are made, and it takes you know uh, months and months to make that kind of a vaccine. We can actually make it in about half the time 
in, in the cell culture method. So it's a much more scalable process. So in, in the event of a pandemic like H1N1, there was a, a large delay in time in getting that vaccine out. We can shortcut that time period to getting a vaccine out. If that, if that vaccine had been more lethal or, or had uh, you know, a more significant uh, event, uh, you know, a lot more people would have died. Hmm. And you're in, by, you're in Maryland, why? I'm in Maryland. So we've actually just relocated the company to Maryland. We were in Alabama. We were a spin-out of the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And we're in, in Gaithersburg. And uh, we re relocated uh, primarily because of the vicinity to BARDA and FDA and the uh, number of other vaccine development companies in, in Maryland. So we are at the point where we needed to get regulatory and quality assurance folks on board and people that had experience in development of vaccines. And we were able to hire those people very quickly in, you know, in, our, in our neighborhood. Metamune is right around the corner, Novavax, Emergent Biosolutions, Pharmathene. There are a number of you know, uh, other vaccine companies. And, and uh, I'm happy to say that we've rated them all. <laughs> well, you're in good company. So what is your background? So I uh, have a degree in molecular biology from State University of New York at Buffalo. And, uh, My alma mater. Ah, one of them. <laughs> and then a business degree from Johns Hopkins. And uh, uh, I was That's in, backwards. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I was at the bench and doing uh, work at a, at a company here called Life Technologies uh, for a number of years and got interested in the business side of science. And so uh, I was recruited into Vaxin about four years ago. And uh, like I said, just moved the company up here. So it's, uh, it's a nice mix of science and business and uh, uh, it's uh, so far proven me pretty well. Now, I always save my toughest question for last. What's your website? The website is www.vaxin.com, V-A-X-I-N. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Enright, a man with a nose for how to make money in the business. I had to say that. You, you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate it later. And we're with Vaxin Inc. He's a private company. We're on location at the University of Maryland Biopark in Baltimore. Bill, thank you so much for Thanks coming. Very much. I wish you appreciate it.